Well, hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And today we're going to be talking about Wool by Hugh Howey, a science fiction novel that came out a few years ago. It started its life as a short story. Uh, this is actually a series of uh, stories that have been uh, kind of combined into a novel, uh, novelettes mostly. Uh, and wool, it takes place in the distant future where the, where the earth has become unlivable. The atmosphere is completely toxic. If you're out in the atmosphere for, or if you're just out outside for any length of time unprotected, uh, you will die right away. And so uh, the remnants of humanity live in a uh, very large underground base called the silo. And in the silo is a whole society. And that is what this novel is about. Very interesting book. Uh, I had heard about it uh, from uh, different uh, people talking about it here on, on BookTube. And uh, it sounded pretty good. And uh, yeah, this is a good book. Starts off really strong. The first part uh, of this novel is the original story uh, uh, titled Wool uh, that caused kind of an internet sensation uh, when it came out. So I understand. And uh, it is really, a really, if you just take that part on its own, it is a really, really solid story. Great science fiction story. Uh, starts off strong, has a kind of a twist ending at the end, uh, kind of a Twilight zone -y kind of feel uh, to just, if you just take that first part by itself. And then uh, immediately after, part two uh, continues the story. And part two of this book is probably if this book has a weak point, it's probably part two. Uh, the main character in this book, uh, Juliet, who is a kind of a really tough, really smart mechanic who becomes the sheriff of the silo. And, but we don't actually get to her until later. Uh, so book, books one and two of this novel feature other characters. Uh, book two... I'm blanking out on what it was called. It was called, it's, book two is called Proper Gauge, and it probably should have been called Walking Downstairs, because that is what happens for the majority of uh, book two. We have a couple characters, great characters. There's great character work in this book, uh, but we have a couple characters walking downstairs for a considerable length of time. Uh, there's some odd things uh, in the silo society that you'll notice right away that are just strange. No elevators, uh, for one thing. Uh, and this is a underground base that goes down. You know, there are different levels of this underground base, and it goes down quite far. So it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense, since they have a lot of technology in there, keeping them alive and keeping everything functioning, that they don't have elevators. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But eventually you get an answer to that question. Uh, you get a lot of the things that seem odd in the early parts of the story, you get answers to later on in the book, which is great. Um, but in part two, if, if, if there, anybody is, would DNF this book, would probably in part two, would probably be because of part two, because it, the pace just comes to a grinding halt uh, in part two. And, uh, but I kind of get it. I kind of get it why uh, Hugh Howey did it this way, because a lot of, what you learn about the underground society itself happens in part two, where you have a couple characters that are going down this spiral staircase deeper and deeper into this underground society. And you kind of see, uh, see things through their eyes as they go down, go down these everlasting steps. And so you learn a lot about uh, the society and everything that goes on uh, in the silo in part two. And there are a couple of great characters anyway uh, and as soon as that towards the end of that book things start picking up again and they just never lose steam 
after that. A lot of stuff happens in this book. This is the first book of a trilogy, I believe. I believe there are three of them. There might be some short stories uh, other than those three, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but I believe it's a trilogy. Um, but this, just on its own, just as a standalone book, uh, this is a great science fiction story with excellent characters. Um, really interesting. He really uh, came up with a really realized and interesting world. It seems real as you're reading it. Um, so excellent, excellent work uh, by Hugh Howie in this book. Um, probably the only other criticism I might have of this book, because everything's good except for the pace in uh, book two, and at the end, the very end seems a little pat to me. You know? Like there was just all this... Our, our hero, Juliet, just goes through it in this book. And uh, there's some other really interesting characters that you follow, and there's a lot of things that just go wrong for a lot of people in here. And the end just ties it up a little too neatly. It seems to me there's a character that has to do a specific thing for the ending to happen. And there's you, you're not really given a lot of uh, information on this character, and it's it's... It's, it's hard to see how he came to the decision that this character did um, to make the decision that you needed for this book to end the way it did. Um, I know that's very vague, purposefully, <laughs> because uh, I, I do want you to go into this book uh, with, with no spoilers. But, you know, those, those two little quibbles uh, are just little things. Otherwise, this is a really, really, really good book. Um, and I recommend it wholeheartedly. So Wool by Hugh Howey, uh, excellent book. You should read this book. So I am going to continue the series, of course, uh, uh, because if the next two books are, are, are as good as this, it should be a fun ride. So thanks, guys. Thanks for stopping by here at Stately Vaughn Manor. Once again, I will see you on Sunday 4, the Sunday Penguin. Bye.